is warm, not overly sunny, which is not true for the rest of us. There is a heat wave upon England and Wales at least, hot and humid for today and tomorrow. A high sun index, 8, is the equivalent of lying on the beach in Spain, and that's what it's like in Cornwall at the moment. The pollen index is also high, as you'll have noticed, if you're a hay fever sufferer. At the moment, it's 27 degrees in London, that's 81 Fahrenheit. In fact, we're into the middle to low 20s all the way up through England and Wales. You have to go to northeast of England, Northern Ireland and Scotland to be cooler than that. And there's a reason for that, obviously. There's rather more persistent cloud in all these areas, Northern England in particular, Northern Ireland and Scotland. But even here, it's a largely dry picture now, and we'll end up with temperatures to 23 in Durham, around about the 20 or 21 mark in Northern Ireland, and it could be the low 20s in Highland Scotland. Too. Possibly a little bit too hot for the start of play at Queen's Club. Well, it'll be hot still tomorrow. This is covered on BBC Two in about what, five minutes, I would think. So the afternoon then is a largely sunny and hot one for most. Warm, better term for Scotland. One or two places will be lucky enough to have some decent rain, or even thunder this afternoon. Most likely area may be North Wales and Northern England. But for most of us, think of it as dry. There's rain also likely, possibly thundery in Northern Ireland this evening, and maybe Scotland tonight. And tonight's quite a story. With rising humidity and a hot day, it'll be pretty close tonight. You may not like sleeping in London or in Cardiff with temperatures in the high teens. It's rather more comfortable elsewhere. Then the crest of the heat wave is tomorrow. Quite a few places could touch the 30 mark. That's 86 Fahrenheit. But with quite high humidity, it may not be very pleasant at all. It starts nice enough. It starts with a good deal of sunshine all the way up through to Scotland, I think. But it's a cloudy picture for Northern Ireland, a good part of Scotland, and increasingly for the west of Wales and the southwest of England. And in fact, as the day goes on, the temperature rises, the cloud follows in, the cloud builds up. If you look in the sky tomorrow, it really will be quite beautiful. But eventually, those beautiful clouds will turn into thunderstorms. Not widespread, but a line by the evening, quite possibly anywhere through the eastern side of England, right down to the south coast. Most of us will avoid them. We may hear them, but we won't get much rain from them. So a pretty humid day tomorrow, and at its hottest at the 30 mark. If that's too much for you, don't worry. It's all gone by Wednesday. Wednesday still a fairly warm day, but not as humid, not as hot, and with a scattering of showers. The similar story exists for Thursday. The heat wave, though, is now upon us. Anna.